Chapter 9, The Wrath of Mills. Now we're going to discuss the most common philosophy in Western culture, utilitarianism. This philosophy is all about teamwork. It was invented by Jeremy Bentham, who believed that all actions are right so long as they are useful or for the benefit of the majority affected by it. Basically, if utilitarianism were a Hollywood movie, it would feature only one character, society, with one plot, society, in one setting, society. This movement is not about individualism. Utilitarianism was invented by Bentham, but it became much more popular after John Stuart Mills cultivated the form we see in use today. His contribution to society was enormous as he created a branch of normative ethics that goes hand in hand with religions and rules. Let me explain. Mills, very much unlike Bentham, believed that there were very clear hierarchies between forms of pleasure. He thought intellectualism, religion, and the fine arts were clearly superior to boozing, gambling, and watching sports. His hierarchies helped religions organize governments around utilitarianism in order to justify the criminalization of some pleasures and the state sponsorship of others. To this day, most Western democracies tend to pass utilitarian policies because they are considered impartial, even though this movement is obviously biased against the so-called lower arts. Like it or not, utilitarianism doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So, the next time you read about an increased liquor tax alongside a grant for a poet, you'll understand the wrath of... Man!